Hi, I'm Staggy from Elgato, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to capture PS5 audio when using headsets. Now, if you've seen the Elgato YouTube channel before, this video might seem a little familiar to you. As a few years back, we made a video on how to capture PS4 audio when using headsets. Now, the reason why that video existed is that the Sony PS4 had, and still has, a software limitation where it disables HDMI audio when a headset is connected to the console. This means that when you connect the PS4 to a capture card of any kind, there's no audio pumping out of the PS4's HDMI port. So there's no audio for the capture cards to capture. But now the PS5 has been released. And unfortunately, nothing has changed. The PS5 also disables HDMI audio when a headset is connected to the console. So here we are again with suggestions on how to overcome this. Now, the first question you need to ask when figuring out how to capture audio on the PS5 is, what type of headset are you using? And now I don't mean brand or model, I mean the connection type. Now there are three types of headset connections for PS5. There's USB, there's USB and optical, and then there's analog audio, which is 3.5 millimeter four pole connection, otherwise known as TRRS. Now let's break down each type of headset and figure out how to capture audio. Now I invite you to take advantage of our video chapters to jump to the type of headset connection that applies to you. First, let's start with USB headsets. Now this can be a headset that terminates in a USB plug or a wireless headset with a USB receiver. The PS5 Pulse headset is an example of this type of headset. Now for these headsets, there's only one workaround. The only way to be able to capture audio while using a USB headset connected to your PS5 is if you have a second PS5 controller connected to the console, either wirelessly or wired, and connect a 3.5 millimeter aux cord from that second PS5 controller's headset port to the 3.5 millimeter line in of your capture card or computer. Now, one thing I wanna clarify, because I'm gonna be mentioning line in ports a few times in this video, is that a line in port is the analog 3.5 millimeter port that can be found on the back of a desktop computer on the motherboard. And when a capture card has an analog 3.5 millimeter input port, this is also effectively a line in. Now, these are different from a mic in port, which would be found on the front side of a desktop computer or found on a laptop computer. So when we mention connecting to a line in input, we do not mean the mic input because these inputs have different level signals and they also only support mono audio. So you can't receive the full stereo signal from this type of setup through that port. Now, if you attempt this second controller method, one thing to keep in mind is that if you opt to plug in your controller to your console to keep it charged so it doesn't die midstream or recording, you'll need to use a 3.5 millimeter ground loop isolator with the aux cable before it goes into your computer in order to prevent buzzing or other types of audio interference. Alternatively, you can just use Chatlink Pro for your second controller and just not connect a headset to the headset port. And this will achieve the same effect as an aux cable and a ground loop isolator, but with a higher quality cable and just dealing with one cable. Next, let's cover USB and optical headsets. Now, these are headsets that connect to a console via USB for chat audio, but then also have an optical in port to receive the game audio. Now, many times this is so the user can receive benefits like virtual surround sound. Now, these types of headsets can be either wired or wireless. So examples of this type of headset are the Astro A50 wireless headset or the Astro Mix Amp, which works with various analog headsets. Now, the issue with these types of headsets being used with the PS5 is that the PS5 does not have an optical port like the PS4 did. So first, in order to use these types of headsets, period, you would need to buy what's called an HDMI audio extractor which is essentially an HDMI coupler, or there are some models that also function as HDMI switchers, which include an optical port on it so you can output the optical audio to your headset while the HDMI sends audio to your capture card or TV. So this is an added item you will need to purchase. Now, the one thing to keep in mind here is to make sure to buy an HDMI audio extractor that can pass through the necessary resolution and frame rate you wish to game and capture at. We do have one linked in the description panel down below, which can pass through up to a 4K60 signal. Now, if you have all of this set up, there are two methods to get audio to your capture card. The first method will work for any of the USB optical headsets. With your headset connected to the PS5, navigate to the settings menu, the sound menu, and then the audio output menu, and set the output device to HDMI. 
This will send both game and chat audio over HDMI to your capture card and the optical cable going into your headset. Now, keep in mind with this setup, you won't have the ability to do game and chat balancing on your headset since that requires chat going over USB. Now, you can have game chat balancing if you're okay with only capturing the game audio and not capturing any chat audio. To do this, you would set the output audio device to USB, but then you'd set the output to headphones option to chat audio only. This means you'll be sending the chat audio over the USB channel to your headset and not the HDMI, so you will only be capturing game audio with this setup. So with this software method, you'd have to choose between capturing chat audio through your capture card or having the game chat balance feature on your headset. Now, the second method for capturing audio requires a stream out port, which not every optical USB headset might have. But this port will allow you to connect a 3.5 millimeter aux cable to the line input of your computer or the analog input of your capture card. Depending on your headset, this might require using some of the headset software so you can tell it what audio to send out over this port. And then, depending on where you're connecting the other end of this aux cable into, you'll need to add that as an audio source in your streaming or capture software, or wavelength software, etc. Now, one thing to keep in mind here is that since you're connecting an analog cable between the headset that's connected to the ungrounded PS5 and to your grounded computer, you will be creating a ground loop. Now, some headsets might have electronics built into them to prevent any audio buzzing from occurring from this type of connection, but others might not. So if you try this method out and you hear buzzing or other interference in your game audio, you'll want to use a 3.5 millimeter ground loop isolator, which will get rid of that. We have one linked in the description panel down below. And just to mention, like with USB headsets, you do have the option of using the second controller method for capturing PS5 audio when using a USB optical headset. Now for the final type of headset, we have the analog headsets. These headsets plug directly into your controller's 3.5 millimeter headset port to receive the game and chat audio. And this is the type of headset with the cheapest workaround. And this is by utilizing Elgato Chatlink. Now we offer Chatlink and Chatlink Pro, which I'll go over the differences in just a bit, but they work the same way. Chatlink is essentially a splitter that'll simply split the audio coming from your controller. So one audio signal goes to your headset and then the other to your capture card or computer. Now, this is a bit of an oversimplification because while there are other audio splitters out there, it takes about three different types of cables combined to do what Chatlink does in one cable. But conceptually, this is what we're doing. And using Chatlink, you have full use of your headset's microphone to talk to your friends online. To set it up, you simply plug the headset jack of your Chatlink or Chatlink Pro into the headset port of your controller. Plug your headset into the headset port of Chatlink or Chatlink Pro and then plug the long 3.5 millimeter cable from your Chatlink or Chatlink Pro into the line in of your capture card or computer. Now, what are the differences between Chatlink and Chatlink Pro since you just saw that they set up in the exact same way? Well, number one, Chatlink Pro has a tougher build quality so it can withstand more abuse when using it. And number two, it has a ground loop isolator integrated into the cable to allow it to work with more audio setups. Because one thing to keep in mind with this setup is if you have your PS5 controller plugged into your console, this will create a ground loop because, again, you're connecting the ungrounded PS5 to a grounded computer via an analog cable. If you unplug the PS5 controller and use it wirelessly, then the analog cable isn't making contact with the ungrounded PS5 system, so then you won't have that ground loop. But if you do plan on having a wired PS5 controller, or have longer gaming sessions where you'd want to charge your PS5 controller, then you'd want to use a ground loop isolator to prevent this audio buzzing and interference. Now, if you already have Chatlink, you can use the ground loop isolators we've used in other setups and just add that to the 3.5 millimeter jack that plugs into your capture card or the line in of your computer. But if you're looking to buy a Chatlink for the first time, it's about the same money to get a ground loop isolator and a Chatlink versus getting a Chatlink Pro. But with the Pro, you get the stronger build quality, so we would recommend going with the Pro in that case. Alternatively, like the USB headset, you could also use the second controller method to get audio to your computer. But Chatlink is the better option here. Because number one, if you don't already have a second PS5 controller, you're already looking at quite a large cost here. And number two, an aux cable and a ground loop isolator will probably be in the same cost range or more than a Chatlink or a Chatlink Pro. And number three, you don't have to worry about your second controller dying or leaving it plugged in and on all the time. Basically, if you have an analog headset, Chatlink or Chatlink Pro is the way to go. 
and that covers the three different types of headsets you'd use for PS5 and how to capture audio when using them. Now, keep in mind that these methods are recommended so you have the full use of your headsets connected to your PS5. This means that you can use the microphones for console chat with your friends, hear them back, and hear the game audio, all while your capture card can receive the same audio. If you don't need to talk to your friends through PS5, you can always connect your headset to your computer instead, and then use your streaming or capturing software to monitor the capture card HDMI audio to hear that game audio. And then you could use your headset to talk to your friends through Discord. Now, obviously, if you can't talk to your friends on Discord, or if your content involves console chat, then this doesn't necessarily apply. The only thing you could possibly do in this case is plug a compatible USB mic into your PS5 so that it'll get your audio to the console chat, and then the console chat will come over the HDMI into your computer and then out to your headset via the software monitoring. But obviously, this is an involved setup that can be somewhat costly depending on the type of mic that you'd use. And the other downside of this software monitoring method is that there is a little bit of audio latency from doing software monitoring versus having your headset directly plugged into a controller. So depending on how competitive your game is, this is something to keep in mind. Now, one thing you could try to do to mitigate the latency of this method is by connecting an aux cable from your PS5 controller to the line input of your computer, since this will avoid the extra latency that would come from a USB capture card. Because even if that latency from a capture card is ultra low, the analog line into your computer will just be a little bit lower. Just keep in mind, again, that if you're plugging in your controller to your PS5 for continuous power, you'll need a ground loop isolator in this setup to prevent audio interference. And once again, you can just use Chatlink Pro for your second controller and just not connect a headset to the headset port. And this will achieve the same effect as an aux cable and a ground loop isolator, but with a higher quality cable and just one cable being needed. And again, when I say line in input, this only applies to the desktop line in on the back of the motherboard because those are stereo inputs with the proper line level signal. We do not recommend using the mic input of a computer. So if you're using a laptop that only has a mic input or a combo jack type of port, you would just monitor the HDMI audio from your capture card. But there you have it, how you can capture audio when using headsets on the PlayStation 5. Now I get it, there's a lot of options out here that you can pursue, and there's a lot of nuances when it comes to setups. But hopefully one of these methods helps you out when it comes to capturing that PS5 audio. Now if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And don't forget to hit that like button and get subscribed so you can catch the rest of our videos and tutorials to learn how to unlock the full power of your Elgato products. Once again, I'm Steggy from Elgato, and until our next video, good luck and have fun.